Hey, what's up everybody? And this is Jazz Yo, and I'm getting ready to do uh, another wonderful tutorial on Adobe After Effects and Premiere. Well, not another one on this. This is actually my first on this program, but another tutorial. Well, you get what I'm saying. Anyway, what this is going to be about is integration between both uh, programs, Premiere and After Effects. Um, pretty much taking out the fact that you do not have to render from one software to another and then doing that again basically this makes the workflow and integration easier as you can work in your premiere stuff and then go into after effects to add titles or color correction or whatnot and then it will make the changes in real time as you go back to adobe premiere so actually so what i would call this is the adobe premiere and after effects integration workflow that's pretty long say that five times anyway this is assuming you've already done some editing in Adobe Premiere and you've saved your project. So we're going to take off from there. I am going to go ahead. We have After Effects fired up. Make sure you have that fired up. And I'm working in CS3 for After Effects and Premiere. And I believe it should work in CS4 as well. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do is import our Premiere project and I will come over here to Premiere Project and this is the one I want now this is actually from a short little tiny film that I made called Don't Say a Word and you can see that at my Adobe or not Adobe on my YouTube channel as well I encourage you to check it out so anyway let's go ahead and import audio only reason I'm doing this is because I want everything on the timeline and I just learned how to do this a few days ago so if you do know a easier way or better way of integration please let me know then I can update this tutorial but this is what I have for now and it's all of course for people that haven't had a chance to learn that little trick so anyway we're gonna go ahead and open that folder and what you wanna find is I, I call this the sequence It's sequence one on my premiere project you might have it named but differently but this is the sequence that I did all the editing we'll go ahead and drag that down well that doesn't look cool oh there you go slight glitch and as you can see, uh oh, who's that? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Look at them dreadlocks right there. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get back with you. I'm over here messing around, being goofy. So anyway, we'll alt and double click this timeline right here, and you can see this is all the stuff I did in Premiere Pro. And what I want to be able to do is color correct this, make this look like nighttime. I could make it look like a great nighttime, but I'm not going to spend all that time doing that. So anyway, to get right to it, let's go ahead and rename this sequence. I will name this uh, Demo AE Integration. I'm only doing this so then I can remember and know where I'm at. And this is the sequence that I'm naming. I will do save as or yeah I'm gonna go ahead here's my demo well I named this earlier so you save your file name the way you would and now let's go in and open after a, or Adobe Premiere <laughs> right here and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a dynamic link to this After Effects pro project so that we can just see kind of what it's doing as soon as this thing fires up. So now we're just going to go ahead and do new project over here. And let this come on. You know I'm working off of a laptop so I'm sure this is working a little slow but that's okay new premiere project and I'm just gonna go ahead and call this demo for tutorial don't worry about all these names I'm just doing this very fast so you know you'll be more organized when you're doing your work alright so now we have this in here let's go ahead and what we're gonna do is Adobe dynamic link in premiere and we're do import after effects composition and this is the folder that I had my stuff going in so let's go to tutorial and of course here's the demo that I did and I'm just going to 
we gotta hold down a plus sign so see I have all these little things going on but um, we're gonna go ahead I believe it was see it's supposed to there it is demo AE integration I almost confused myself so we're gonna go ahead and, and here you'll see this little thing comes up and just drop it down just drop it like it's hot drop, drop it like it's hot and as you see it is not there what in the hell oh there we go all right it just takes a little moment so anyway as you see it's right there so let's go to a section that we can edit I'll say maybe right over here is at 3914 and we'll go over here to 3914 I'm looking at this time right here ah this is good enough now what I'm gonna just do is add an effect on this layer right here effect color correction and this is just to give a nighttime kind of scene so you notice it's turned blue over here I'll just go ahead and bring this down a little bit now let's go back into Adobe Premiere now I should update with it oops make sure of course that you save so let's go back to Adobe After Effects I should have done that um, first over here so we're back in After Effects control S to save the project and you need to save the project because what it's gonna do it's it's gonna come back in here and you see there we go whoops <laughs> wrong thing there we go now see notice that the change has been made um, let's go ahead again and let's just say we added a little text over here we'll call we'll just say this is something stupid like booyah and once again we we'll go ahead and save and then we should come in here the time says 4423 so here I should see that change if I go to 4423 and it's probably going to take, you know, just a moment for it to show up on here. It's, it's updating its deal. So let's look for that. Booyah! There it is. So anyway, once you're done with that, so you can do all your stuff in After Effects, do all your editing, special effects and whatnot. And then once you save, you just come into Adobe Premiere, you do that. And then, of course, come down to, um, you can go ahead and export your movie I like to use Adobe Media Encoder and then you know you can get some sharp settings for that so anyway that's all it is and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and took care of what you needed to for the day as I am homesick now make sure you go ahead and check out my video that I did do for this uh, video it's called um, what is it called it's called don't say a word it's on my YouTube channel so make sure you go check that out and see what I did with this video and I can't mess it up for you guys over here it's my dog anyway thanks again and we'll catch you guys later